everyone, Tommy from TechNexus, and thanks for joining me on this week's video. Now, um, I wanted to go over something that you would come across as an admin uh, on any, I guess, PNID project, or, or I, mean, I guess even a PNID project for that matter, um, is adding new symbols. Now, I don't like to edit the out-of-the-box symbols. Um, I like to make a, a sort of a, a subclass of the client symbols or whether it's some sort of name or reference or whatever it might be so that way I don't affect the standard out of the box symbol so I've always got sort of something to fall back on um, it just for my peace of mind it just makes things a little bit neater to not use um, the out of the box um, symbols so the whole idea of this video is to go through uh, the creation of two symbols. So I'm going to make a couple, couple ball valves, one normally open, one normally closed. Um, and then we're going to bring those symbols into uh, my Plant 3D project and I'll show you about uh, what I do in regards to sort of making up uh, different classes and that sort of stuff. So just to kick off, I'm going to make um, a couple new symbols. Um, let's make them uh, three and a half mil high. So these, these two ball valves are nothing sort of really too special. I'm just going to make them out of normal AutoCAD lines. Um, I'm not going to, um, there's no need to add attributes or anything like that. So this is all just, um, just AutoCAD lines. Uh, I've got them all on layer zero. Um, it's just really just to show you about making these symbols. So, and I'm just going to hatch the inside of this one. Okay, so there's my ball valves, and again, nothing special. So, I'm going to call this uh, ball valve NO. Select the objects, go OK, and do the same for all valve NC. Okay, so now we've got these these two blocks here: ball valve NC and ball valve NO. Um, they're drawn at one to one scale. Um, you will notice with the standard out of the box ones, they're scaled up by. Uh, 25 so you know, coming from an imperial project to a metric um, it looks like Autodesk have just put in that, that uh, tw uh, 25 um, scaling in there so obviously for this being in Australia being metric we're, we're just going to be drawing them as, as one to one okay uh, I'm going to save this on my desktop um, so uh, piping block so they're saved. So now I'm going to go into my actual project that I want to edit. So right click on the project name and go to project setup. So what I'm going to do here now is drill down into the classes for the PNIDs and then make up a, make up a new one. Okay, so we're here under penalty class definitions, inline assets, hand valves, and we've got the standard you know, ball valves in here, check valves, whatever else. So I like to leave these as is and just make up a new um, sort of class underneath. Um, I want it at the top of the list, so I'm just going to do A, Tech Nexus valves. Okay, so there it is at the top of the list, and then from here I can make up a new class underneath that and call it ball valves. Okay, so now I have ball valves specific for the TechNexus project. Then from here we go to add symbols, and under the selected drawings you click on this little dot 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 on the right, go to my desktop, 
and I can see piping blocks here. So we've got the two blocks, NO and NC. Okay. So I can select both of them and click Add, and then go Next. So now we've got NC and NO ball valves being added to our project. So we're just going to give them a name. So ball valve NC and ball valve NO. And as well, what we need to do is set the layer and the colors. Um, I'm just going to leave them as on layer mechanical and by layer because that's the standard one out of the box. Uh, line type or scale, line weight, you can play with all of those. Like I said before, the symbol scale factor is set to 1 because we've drawn them as 1 to 1. They don't need to be scaled on insert. Uh, they're not rotated, they're not mirrored. Um, they're not a tag component under the tagging prompt by default. So we can say automatically assign one. Join type, they're inline items and they're not auto nozzle. Okay, so I'll do the same thing by layer and then automatically tag and go finish. So now we've got the two valves in there, NO and NC. And also as well, so now that we've got them both in there as NO and NC, we need to set up this normally property. Okay, and it's a symbol list. So that is a pull down that's going to come out and the software is going to put in the block that is assigned to that property value. So at the moment, NO is listed here as ball valve NC, so we can double click inside there and change it to NO. Okay, so NC is automatically on NC, NO is now linked to NO block. Okay, the last thing we need to do is put the, um, the attachment points on there. So when it's in here now, I can click on edit block. And then we need to put in a point. So up here under the parameters, put in a point, stick one at the middle, sort of on the left. Oops. And then stick one at the middle on the right. And we need to rename these. So you can right click on it and go rename parameter. And for a valve, it's attach, attachment point one, end code zero. And then for the other side, we rename it. Attachment point two, end code 180. Okay. So let me just put that hatch in there again. Okay, and I'll do the same for I know that was NC so I just need to do it for NO so point midpoint on the left hand side point midpoint on the right hand side right click rename attachment point one end code zero attachment point two end code 180 close save okay so We've got our ball valve NO, ball valve NC, the hand valve tag and the labels I'm just going to leave as default. Uh, we've got our normally um, property there set. Now as well, what you can do from here is click on add tool palette. Okay, and it, does, it sticks it on the last tool palette that you had open there. So if there's a mistake, and let's say that this was a mistake, so I'm just going to click OK jump back out into our project
give that another few more seconds just let BIM 360 do its thing Hopefully not too much longer. And what I'm going to do is show you how we can move that from the palette that it fell on into the one that it should be. And it's just like any other button on the palette. So we can right click, cut it, right click, paste on the palette. So now I'm going to stick it on its own. Okay, so it's telling me that, that it's tagged, it needs to do another number for whatever reason. Let's do the next value. So let's go something 900. Okay, so there you go. So now we've got that symbol. I can also change it. So the open close state, normally open to normally closed. Okay, so just to show you that by putting it on a line. So I've got this secondary line segment here. Uh, let's put it in there as a four inch line, CS150, peak of process, and okay, let me put the tag on it. Okay, so we know that that's a four inch line. So if we go to our valves, our new ball valve, give it a new number, okay, and then there you go, okay. And again, right click on it, open close state, normally open, normally closed. Okay, so hopefully that's giving you some insight into how to add new blocks into your PNID setup. Um, if you've got any comments, please leave them down below. And please do subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notifications of my weekly videos. But thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you liked the video, thumbs down, and I will see you next week. See you later.